We are expecting several showers and thunderstorms this upcoming week, and this is concerning for areas exposed to flooding. And one of those places is down in Columbus. This past Friday, Mayor Keith Gaskin got stuck in the flood water. WTVA's meteorologist Gabe Maynard got to speak with the mayor about his experience and what they're doing to fix these issues. He joins us live with what he found out. Yeah, Tanya, I am live in the rain right now as those isolated and scattered showers make their way on through. And just a few minutes ago, oh man, it was heavy. And we're still seeing some of those heavy showers stick with us. I'm going to get behind the camera and kind of show you guys a little bit of the puddles that have formed, the dripping of the water on the ground. You can just kind of see that water is definitely sticking with us and rainfall definitely starting to pick up over the next little bit. Now, one of those areas that's at risk, it's not here in Tupelo, it's down in Columbus. Mayor Keith Gaskin, I got to run into him this afternoon and talk to him a little bit about those flooding concerns and how the city is addressing those issues. I knew I was on a street with, with water standing. I didn't realize that I was coming up on an area that was, that was it's not a ditch, but it's a drop off. So the next thing I knew, you know, I'm sideways in the water. Flooding rainfall came over Columbus, Mississippi this past Friday. It was so bad that even Mayor Keith Gaskin got stuck. But this is an issue that has been going on for several decades. We have families in Columbus that have told me that they've lived in one area for 50 years and it's flooded there the whole time they've lived there. So anytime we have rain at that level that fast, uh, we've got problems all over the city. And these problems are not small either. People think, oh, well, it, it floods for a minute and then it's gone. Well, it has an impact on, on the homes and on our roads and all those things. So what is the city doing to address these issues? The city set aside $3 million and then we, we were able to receive 450000 from the county, which was matched one-to-one -one by the state. With more heavy rainfall on the way this evening, flooding concerns continue to be there and are actually on the rise. You can track where that rainfall is taking place, including the shower that I'm in right now, using the WTVA weather app. And this will also let you know of flood watches and flood warnings and even if there is severe or strong storms in your area. Reporting live, meteorologist Gabe Maynard, WTVA 9 News.